vice. That ought to keep the natives restless. A mysterious madam hooks Crockett in tubs. Who's going to miss a couple of dead cops? Miami Vice, followed by L.A. Law. My husband violates a T.R.O. kidnapping my son. Getting your son back is all that matters. An unforgettable experience. L.A. Law. Tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Grip, inviting you to join us next for a special edition of the News 10 Early Edition, live from the Greater Gulf State Fair. For eye care and eyewear, the best of both worlds is OptiWorld. I probably tried on 50 different pairs <laughs> until I found the one I liked. Well, it was reasonable. There, were, there was a wide range of prices to choose from. I came in here not really with much time at all. I had to get contacts. Got them in less than an hour because of the lab. On-site on service, I call it. It took an hour. Maybe a little more. Hey, Mom, it's good to be home again. Camp was fun, but uh, you gonna wash? Uh-huh. That's clean. Clean? You wash it on a rock? What's that? Barbecue sauce, ketchup. That was a bug. Ugh. Hey, can you get this out? What is that? Blood. Blood? Yeah, I shave now sometimes. I'm not a total kid. Shave? I tried to get it out, but it just got brown. I don't know. Ma, I got a date. The stains already set in. A date? Jennifer. Tide might have gotten it out fresh, but set in. Jennifer who? Empty. New tough cleaning Tide. Maybe this will... Nah. New Tide can do it. It can even get out this set-in blood stain. The directions on the box tell how. Now some of your toughest set-in stains come clean. On dirt and stains that sit, New Tide won't quit. Hmm. That old stain came out. New Tide is better than old Tide. Hey, Mom. Thanks. Hey, hey. Have fun, kiddo! It takes a Tide to beat a Tide. Even on dirt and stains that sit, New Tide just won't quit. See along Shoreman are on strike this evening. Members of the International Longshoremen's Association set up picket lines this morning. Renee Dials has more. W.J. Williams has been a longshoreman for 30 years. He says he needs to work, but he doesn't regret the strike, and he's not surprised by it. Well, they could never get come inclusive with what they want to do. Mobile longshoremen voted down a contract offer by the Mobile Steamship Association this weekend, but they continued to work while negotiators tried to come up with a new agreement. The longshoremen say the negotiations turned sour. You can't go out there and work for what they offer for overtime at night, dollar an hour, you can't do it. The major disagreement involves overtime. The shippers agreed to pay overtime ranging from $1 to $21 an hour. The union wants $21 or time and a half across the board. The shippers say the strike is a bad move. What's likely to happen if these people are on strike is, uh, or remain on strike, is that vessels that might otherwise be destined for Mobile simply unload their cargo in Pascagoula. So there is something both sides agree on. Neither wants to see a long strike. The men on the picket line need money, and the shippers need business. And they say with Mobile's longshoremen on strike, ships headed for Mobile's port will just head someplace else. Renee Dowles, News 10. Longshoremen in Pascagoula have ratified a new contract. The Biloxi Union votes tomorrow, and Pensacola's dock workers are on the job under an extended contract. Up next, we'll tell you about the Big Shrimp Festival now underway in Gulf Shores. And Bill Evans is out in the midway right now with his AccuWeather forecast. Is the weather going to hold off for us, Bill? Hey, Bob, I'm having fun here at the midway. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun here tonight. We're going to have the weather forecast. It looks like it's going to be great for the fair that is coming up this weekend, or whether you're going to be at the Shrimp Festival. Wherever you're going to be, the weather's going to be nice this weekend. Just like we told you last night, I'll have the complete weather forecast coming up. A totally new way to have it all. Easy Rental, the American tradition of ownership without the traditional obligation. Easy Rental, choose the television you want. Easy Rental, you'd like a different model, different features. Give it back. Easy Rental, video recorders for your in-home entertainment. Easy Rental, ownership without the traditional credit or down payment required. We make life easy. The time-honored tradition of ownership brought up to date. Easy Rental. This has 
been a test. If it has caused a real pizza emergency, you are instructed to go directly to Pizza Hut and order their famous pan pizza with your favorite toppings. Of course, the Greater Gulf State Fair isn't the only big draw along the Gulf Coast this weekend. Thousands of shrimp lovers from as far west as California are in Gulf Shores tonight for the 15th Annual Shrimp Festival. More than 100,000 seafood lovers are expected to browse through the arts and crafts and especially to sample the shrimp. This is my fifth festival. Uh, enjoying every minute of it. The people's great. The food's better than ever been before. The festival is free, but if you plan to stay overnight, most of the hotels are already full, so keep that in mind. However, there is plenty of room tonight here at the fair, and Bill Evans is right in the middle of it with his AccuWeather forecast. How are you going? Hey, you're doing great, Bob. It's really great to be here at the fair. TV 10, we're having a good time here, and we're taking a step forward being here tonight, and it's always a lot of fun. I'm in front of this ride. This is called the Himalaya. Uh, now, the screaming children in the background really are having a good time. They play rock and roll music. They go around and around in circles. Kids love that sort of thing. Now, we're having a lot of fun. I'm on the midway. All the rides are down this way, and I've been on every ride, and they're all safe. They've been checked. And they're a lot of fun, particularly the double Ferris wheel. That's my favorite. We've got beautiful weather here tonight, and right now the conditions will show that. We've had sunny skies this evening. The sun is slowly setting. Temperature across the Gulf Coast is 78. 69% relative humidity is moderate. That's really nice. The reason why, the north winds at 9, and the barometer has been holding steady. We had cloudy skies this morning, you'll recall. We had cloudy skies through lunchtime. And later this afternoon, the sun came out, the skies broke, and that's making way for a good weekend. Look at the southeastern satellite picture and we'll show you that there are partly cloudy skies across the Gulf Coast. The area of clouds that brought us rain yesterday is moving across the Atlantic coast and now look at all the clear skies in the southeast. Southeastern radar shows a few rain showers well to the eastern mobile around Pensacola. They got a couple of scattered thunder showers off the coast there and in southeastern Alabama. Most of that rain is from last hour because look at the local radar this hour. Just ground cluttered at the mobile radar site. A few rain showers north of the Poncha train and that's it. Temperatures today have been mild, and they will continue to be mild all weekend long now that a big high-pressure system has come to the Gulf Coast. The high today was 81. The low last night was 67. We've had no rain during the day today, although we had some rain last night. And there's our water temperature in the Gulf. It's still at 82. Record high on this date was back in 1981 when it was 92. You remember that hot summer? Record low was 44 and 51. There's the sunrise and sunset for tomorrow. So you're saying, Bill, the weekend is here. We may be outdoors, and we don't know what we're going to do, but we do want to know what the weather's going to be, and I can tell you it's going to be nice. If you're coming to the fair tonight, if you're going to be outdoors in a football game, here's what temperature should be like across the Gulf Coast. In northwest Florida, they're going to be mostly upper 60s to right around 70, just about everywhere. 71 at Destin at Fort Walden, 70 at Pensacola tonight, 68 at Loxley, 66 at Mobile, 65 in Axis, Alabama, and at Loosedale, 66, and along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, 68 Ocean Springs, 69 at Moss Point. Here's my forecast weather map for tomorrow. Look at that high pressure over the eastern third of the nation. It will continue to push that front on out over the Gulf waters, and we'll have a sunny Saturday and a sunny Sunday. Maybe an isolated afternoon thunder shower might pop up on Saturday as some of the leftover stuff from that front might back up along the Gulf Coast, the extreme Gulf Coast, but that's all. High tomorrow, 84 Pensacola. Going to be right around 83 at Pensacola, 84 degrees at Pascagoula, 84 degrees at Destin tomorrow, 83 at Tuscaloosa, 81 in Birmingham. If you have to go to Atlanta this weekend, it'll be 82, but why not be right here along the Gulf Coast where the weather is going to be beautiful. So let's take a look at my boating forecast. If you're going to be out over the Gulf waters this weekend, the high tide is going to be early in the morning, right around 6-11. The low tide is going to be tomorrow evening. Here are the river stages from the Coffeeville and the Claiborne Dams. The boating forecast for the Gulf waters, sunny skies, maybe a couple of isolated thunder showers over those Gulf waters. Winds are going to be east at 10 knots. Gulf waves 1 to 3 feet with a light chop in the interprotected areas. Let's take a look at my TV10 AccuWeather forecast for tonight. If you're going to be out anywhere, you won't need the umbrella tonight. Very mild conditions, partly cloudy and pleasant tonight with a low of 66. You might can wear a sweater tonight. It's that pleasant tonight. Tomorrow, I'm expecting sunshine. It will be mild, maybe a couple of isolated thunder showers, but really that's less than a 20% chance, so I wouldn't worry about the umbrella or the rain gear at all. Tomorrow's high is going to be 83, and the low tomorrow night is going to be 68. I am so positive this weekend is going to be so nice, and I'm so excited about the weather forecast that on the Evans Index, every night I rate the weather for you on a scale of 1 to 10. I rate this weekend at a 9. What a weekend. It is going to be really nice. A 9 on a scale of 1 to 10. A few clouds, maybe an isolated thunder shower tomorrow keeps it from being a 10. It's that close to being a perfect weekend. Here's my five-day forecast to show you that through the middle of next week, it's going to be sunny to partly cloudy. Some rain is going to be moving in on Tuesday. Some scattered rain showers on Wednesday. Temperatures still mild. Low 80s for highs right around the mid to the upper 60s for lows at night. Bob, I'm right here in front of the Himalaya, and I, I just got to ride it. Bob, I love rides. I love riding in the airplanes when they bump up and down. I'm going to head down the midway, have a great time here at the fair. I'll come back at 10 o'clock with a complete report on the weather that's coming up for the rest of the weekend. All right, bring us some corn dogs on the way back. Hey, right? I'll, I'll do that for you. All right, thank you, Bill.
Just ahead, camping out at the football games, Ron Golnick is next with sports, live on location from the Greater Gulf State Fair. Stay tuned. Gary Bortleff, the number one Nissan dealer in Alabama, continues to break records. And now Nissan Motor Acceptance Company says, do it one more time. No money down. Yes, Nevax says sell selected new cars and trucks from stock this month only with no money down. No gimmicks. This is not a lease. Choose any brand new exciting Nissan Pulsar or any five-speed hard body long bed or any 87 Sentra hatchback or any King Cab 4x4. All for no money down. Up to 60 months to pay subject to credit approval through Nevax. And only from Gary Bortleff Nissan on the Beltline Mobile. Right now, take advantage of this season's best values during Harco Drugs Fall Festival. Here's what it means to you. Baby Ruth or Butterfinger Big Bars, two for 88 cents. Texaco Antifreeze, 99 cents after rebate on two gallons. And a large nine-pound box of Purex detergent, only $3.49. And register for Harco's Fall Festival Tailgate Party, complete with a new Ford Taurus wagon and four tickets to the Alabama-Auburn game. It's happening now during Harco's Fall Festival. I'm for Guy Hunt because I think he is the right man for the job at this time. I think he's highly qualified. I just feel like we just need somebody that's level-headed as Guy Hunt to run this state. I like Guy Hunt. I'm for him and have been from the very beginning. I think he would be a wonderful governor. I met him, I've talked to him, and I think he's a good man for the job. Guy Hunt is the greatest. He's got my vote all the way. Guy Hunt, right for Alabama, right now. It's the 86 RCA Closeout Sale at Loop Appliance and TV Home Entertainment Center. The warehouse is full of 86 RCA color TVs, VCRs, and big screen TVs. The 87s are here, and we've got to make room. Loop Appliance and TV is offering fabulous closeout deals, like RCA TVs starting at just $1.99. Easy financing, free delivery and installation, and free video movie club membership. It's the 86 RCA Closeout Sale now at all five locations of Loop Appliance and TV Home Entertainment Centers. We've been pretty lucky with the weather tonight. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, they weren't so lucky over in Pensacola. Torrential downpours, but guess what? It cleaned up today, and they got round one of the Pensacola Open in today. The sun was out at Perdido Bay today. They were able to complete that rain-delayed round one of the tournament. Here's your leaderboard tonight. Phil Blackmore with a 7 under par 64 today to grab the number one spot. Byram, Slumum, and Gonzalez fall into a second place tie with John Cook today. And the tourney concludes Sunday with a final round of 36 holes. And for many years, pro golf was the only sport without using an electronic scoreboard. But that's all changed now, and it's made it easier for fans to follow the game. Eric Clemens has the details from Perdido Bay. When you visit Perdido Bay for this weekend's Pensacola Open, please don't take the constantly changing information on the scoreboard for granted. A lot of hard work goes into keeping this information up to date, starting with these volunteers you see on each of the 18 greens. From these positions, all the information is dispersed after being carefully recorded. This is where the brains of the meticulous scoring system are located, Scoring Central. This is where all the pros' scores on the course are checked and rechecked. And the system has been without major flaws for six years running now. The green sitters punch the player's score into a central computer, as Gordon Town explains. And we've got 16 of these boards scattered around the course so that they're always up to date as to who is leading the tournament and who's doing what. And when a person comes up on the green, you know who's coming up, what they've done in the past, their present score of today. In case the computer system should fail, an audio system with contact to each hole is used as an effective backup. Yes, the work of the scores does get a little bit easier. 171 golfers were set to tee off Wednesday. That field will be cut to 70 by Saturday. Reporting from Pensacola, Eric Clemens, News 10 Sports. Of course, I don't think that board would be big enough to hold my score. The Royals fired interim manager Mike Ferraro today, saying that Dick Hauser, who had brain surgery this past summer, will return for the 87th season, and Lou Pinella has been rehired tonight to manage the New York Yankees. And it's Friday, and that means that tons of football fans are on the road headed to either watch the Alabama Crimson Tide or the Auburn Tigers. games. In this case, they're in Birmingham at Legion Field for the Alabama Notre Dame tussle. Now, if you're going to camp, you have to arrive early to get a good parking spot. It's still 26 hours before kickoff here at Legion Field, but already 
The parking yard is beginning to fill up with campers. Campers come from near and far to see both Auburn and Alabama play. They set up outside the stadium and they spend the entire weekend. Many of them don't even have tickets to the game. They just want to be there to take part in the festive atmosphere. We, if we can't get tickets, we'll have fun out here. We'll put the ball game on the TV and we'll have fun right out here. Some of the campers have elaborate setups with all kinds of team memorabilia, but one thing's for sure, they're all going to have a good time. Well, it's just like a family atmosphere, you know. You meet different people, you visit with them, you cook and cook out and uh, just in, uh, sit back and enjoy life. Whether it be in Auburn, Tuscaloosa, or Birmingham, the folks and campers are a big, big part of Saturdays in the fall. And, of course, tomorrow night at 6 and 10, Eric will have both Auburn and Alabama highlights live from the fair. And later tonight at 10 o'clock, we'll be live right off the midway here at the Greater Gulf State Fair. We'll have tons of high school football highlights. And, Bob, right over your left shoulder, there's a booth that sells cotton candy. I think I'm going to head out and get a little dinner. All right. Bring some back to me. Too. Okay. Still ahead, the ride of your life with Bill Evans right here at the Greater Gulf State Fair as we continue live on location. Don't go away. Jeremiah Denton voted against farm credit, but to raise his own pay. Again, check the record. Richard Shelby, a senator for us. It's Waller Brothers' great Waller walkout sale. Now through October 31st, walk out with great buys on name office furnishings and supplies. Like on Waller office chairs, choose our conventional high back executive swivels or our adjustable secretarial chairs for total seating comfort. Save even more on Waller traditional sidearm chairs for your conference room or on our classic swivel arm chairs with lines that never go out of style. Hurry to the great Waller walkout sale. Deals this good are going to walk out fast. You know, I used to think no matter which brand of coffee you chose, they were all just about the same. Boy, was I wrong. Red Diamond is far and away the best coffee I've ever tasted. Rich aroma, great flavor, great coffee. To me, there are two kinds of coffee, Red Diamond and all the others. I tell you what, when you run out of the coffee you've been drinking, why don't you give Red Diamond a try? You'll taste what I'm talking about. Guy Hunt's business experience includes working as a Hoover vacuum cleaner salesman and as an Amway salesman. Hiya, Mrs. Brown. Got your order. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hunt. The Republicans would like you to believe this kind of experience qualifies Guy Hunt to be governor. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Guy Hunt has no experience in state government. Running state government requires real experience. There is no substitute. The Republicans are selling a pretty package with no substance. On November 4th, let the buyer beware. The secret's out in Mobile, and the secret, it's exciting. Robinson Brothers can show you how you can trade for an 87 Lincoln Town car for less tomorrow than if you waited till next year. And it's not 30000 like some expensive import. It's just $20,595. That is exciting. Or choose the 87 Sable at just $12,993. Even our lowest prices include air, automatic, speed control, and tilt wheel. And we're talking now, not next year, for less money. See you tomorrow at Robinson Brothers Lincoln Mercury. Coming up in Nightcast, we'll be live on location here at the Greater Gulf State Fairgrounds where Rod Odom will fill us in on tonight's activities and Michelle Meredith will join us live with a look at the funnier side of the fair. Bill Evans will, of course, update his accurate weather forecast and Ron Golden will have all high school football. Finally tonight, there are 50 rides at the fair this year. Bill thought he'd like to save you some time and he spent the day trying them out. Since you're coming to the fair and the kids are going to get on the rides, the teenagers, they're going to want to get on the rides, and, well, maybe if you want to get on the rides, I thought I would critique some of the rides for you and show you which ones might be the most fun. Now, the one behind me, the double Ferris wheel, it's always fun. These are always fun. Of course, you want to get out and sit down and get locked in real good and tight. You don't want to come out. Oh, this is fun. Now, see, so you get to see the whole fair. Now, this is fun. Now, the Ferris wheel was fun. This is called the Himalayan. Lots of rock and roll music. Looks like we're going to do a lot of spinning around. I guess I'm tall enough for this one. It helps to have a little experience in driving these things, like driving on Airport Boulevard is always a lot of help. And yeah, now this is a pretty fun ride, but this is a, this can get a little bit harrowing. 
Those rides have been okay so far, but now we're on the dreaded Tilt-A-Whirl. Yeah! No fun! <laughs> ah! Now this is the best ride yet. Meteorologists, anyone can like this ride. I think I'll ride it all the way back to the station. Home, well, James, we'll go put out a fire or two. Enjoy the fair. What a hot dog. That's our news for right now. We'll be here at the fair all evening, and we'll see you tonight at 10. Have a good night, everybody.